Now. Good evening, I'm Justin Betty. A group of Rhinelander area youth skateboarders spoke at a city council meeting a few months ago asking council to consider building a skate park in the area. Tonight, council continued that discussion. Newswatch 12's Rachel Eiler attended that meeting and joins us now live in the studio with more on this potential project. Rachel. Justin, that's right. Years ago, building a skate park, skate park actually landed on the agenda for the Parks Committee. But ultimately, due to location issues, it fell through. Well, now it's back on paper, this time in front of the City Council. It's not every day you see a group of teenagers standing before City Council. Hello, we are here with a, a group called Over It. For this group of skateboarders, better known as Over It, it's their chance to turn their dream into a reality. Our goal is to eventually someday have a skate park in Redland. They're not alone in pushing for the park. They have a whole community behind them. This is a no-brainer initiative. If you don't have a skate park, your city becomes the skate park. Following the previous city council meeting, the council opened discussion on logistics of the park. The top two concerns, funding and location. However, years ago, a previous council approved Hodag Park. Due to infrastructure issues, the project was dropped. Now, years later, the council will look at building on Westside Park. We'll do a feasibility look when it comes to that. Um, it has to do with the soil. There, there's some moisture issues in West, you know, West Park. Obviously, we've seen that the puddles for a while. We'll, we'll do that. From experienced skaters to those like Ava, who only started a few months ago, opening the park will allow more kids and teens to join their family. Anyone can skate. I like how anyone can just pick up a board. You can try it. If you like it, you can go for it. And maybe keep them from getting into any more trouble. It used to be almost like every day I would get kicked up by cops and then you just go back and skate because you can't go anywhere else. The group expects the project to cost anywhere between $100,000 to $300,000. They are looking to brainstorm fundraising ideas and may receive some funding from the Tony Hawk Foundation. In Rylander, Rachel Eiler, Newswatch 12. Outside, Jeff, some cooler temperatures on the way this week. Yeah, not so much today with highs back up near 50, but tomorrow we're getting stuck in the 40s with maybe some snow showers through the afternoon. Here we are today, though, 51 in Rhinelander, 50 Eagle River, 58 for Sano. So comfortable about where we're supposed to be this time of year today. Now, tomorrow, different story. Out there now, it's 41 in Rhinelander, 44 for Wausau, 41 for uh, Mosinee. So, yeah, we'll have lows tonight down near freezing, and that sets the stage for stuff like this to begin to freeze tonight into tomorrow as well. Now, there's a big system across the Midwest and Great Lakes right now. You can see it. It's an elongated area of low pressure. There's pretty much a low right there and a low right there and a low right there, and they're not moving anywhere. So, they'll drag in some cooler temperatures tomorrow, and for Wednesday and that will set the stage for some light snow showers along with the rain showers tonight, tomorrow and Wednesday. Our forecast tonight though is mostly cloudy skies, a couple of rain showers and flurries out there with lows down near 34. Your full forecast is coming up, Justin. Alright, thanks Jeff. Let's take a closer look now at the recent COVID numbers starting with Michigan where they are seeing a bit of a spike. Case numbers in Michigan are now their highest point of the pandemic, except for that peak in November and December. However, death numbers have seen a much more modest bump. Now in Wisconsin, case numbers have also been climbing over the last couple weeks, but not nearly as much. We're averaging about 800 cases per day over the last week. Death numbers have been holding fairly steady. We're averaging six deaths per day statewide over the last week. Meanwhile, as we mentioned earlier, one out of every four people in Wisconsin has now completed their COVID-19 vaccination. DHS reports about 37% of the state, over 2 million people, have now received at least one dose. In Oneida County, almost 45% of people have now received at least one dose of vaccine. Dr. Jeff Pothoff, the Chief Quality Officer at UW Health, says the recent bump in cases could be related to people traveling and gathering more over spring break or Easter break, as well as the spread of the UK variant of the virus, which spreads more easily than the traditional version. 
And although you are protected, once your immune system has had a chance to respond, it doesn't respond for approximately 10 to 14 days uh, after either that first dose of Johnson & Johnson or after that second dose of Moderna or Pfizer. Dr. Ponhoff says while the vaccines have proven roughly 95% effective at preventing the virus, at least serious cases, it can still spread. He recommends everyone continue to follow CDC guidelines until more people are vaccinated. Well, spring usually sees uh, an uptick in calls to Wild Instincts Wildlife Rescue in Rhinelander as many animals begin to come out of hibernation. But early Saturday morning, a concerned Northwoods resident called Wild Instincts about a bald eagle that had likely nothing to do with the seasons changing. Wildlife officials say they found slightly elevated lead levels. They followed up with an x-ray and showed the eagle had been shot. Lead levels were slightly elevated from the x-ray. We could see there was four shotgun pellets in its three in its left wing and one in the left side of the body. Naniot says the injuries are likely not to be fatal. We will survive. The x-rays uh, made possible by some recent donations. And like I said, the lead levels weren't real high. There's no other major injuries. And so the Eagle should make a full recovery and be releasable. For more information on how you can help in their efforts in caring for the wild neighbors, you can head to their website, wildinstinctsrehab.com. The Wisconsin DNR's Conservation Congress kicked off their spring hearings the day. It's a chance for state residents to give some input on land and wildlife management topics, including the hunting of white deer. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson has details. You might have seen this book sitting on a coffee table or a neighbor's bookshelf. It's filled with pictures of rare white deer, all captured by Jeff Richter of Mercer. Richter has likely seen more albino deer than anyone. His book, White Deer, Ghosts of the Forest, has sold about 20,000 copies. He's worked for decades to capture these rare deer, and he wants others to have the same chance. Richter does not want white deer to be hunted. A DNR spring hearing question asks, would you support legalizing the harvest of white, not albino deer? Uh, it's an absurd question. It's, it's an impossible question. Naturalist and author John Bates partnered with Richter and wrote the white deer book. Bates said the only way to know for sure if a deer is an albino is with a molecular test, adding that albinism is full of misconceptions. For example, not all albino deer have pink eyes. The usual notion is that albino deer has to have pink eyes, um, but that's not the case. The albino deer on the front of the book has bluish gray eyes. Richter has seen more albino deer than perhaps anyone, yet he doesn't think he could distinguish a white deer from an albino deer from a deer stand. I think you're putting hunters in a, a really untenable position to try to determine if this deer that they're looking at is just a white deer or if it's an albino, you know, largely you're, when you're hunting, you're low light, animals are obscured, uh, maybe moving quickly past you. When it all comes down to the question of hunting rare animals in the first place, Bates doesn't think they should end up on someone's wall. It comes down to a value judgment when all is said and done. Why does someone want to hunt white deer? because it's a rare and beautiful animal and it would be a gorgeous mount in your house. Why do those of us who want to protect white deer want to do so? Because it's a rare and beautiful animal. So the question comes down to what should be our community response to something that's rare and beautiful. Reporting for Newswatch 12, I'm Morgan Johnson. That online questionnaire open tonight at 7. It stays open for 72 hours. We have a link to it on our website, wjfw.com. Well, still ahead, we have tonight's edition of Your Two Cents. But first, Jeff's in with your full forecast. You're watching News Watch 12. We're proud to serve Triple I and folks all across the North Woods of Wisconsin. Step one, build a new breed, make it an SUV. Send it off-road, send it to Baja. Then evolve, enhance, expand, make it capable, smart, human. And then make more. Because the only way to predict the future is to build it. And the only way to build it is Ford Proud. Now get an adventure-ready 2021 Explorer for just $3.99 a month. Only at your local Ford dealer. My name's Arthur, Merrill, Wisconsin. In August of 2019, I started getting numbness in my feet. By July of 2020, 
My feet were so numb, I lost a sense of balance, I thought I was walking on still. I seen his ad for spinal aid. I took 20 treatments from him, and, and by then my feet were 90% better and no longer felt as walking on stilts. Are you experiencing weakness, numbness, and or pain in your feet or hands? These sensations might even be affecting other areas of your body along with your balance. You might have already been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and are taking drugs such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta that never seems to help. Neuropathy pain ultimately diminishes your quality of life. Call Spinal Aid of Wausau today to see if our treatment methods are right for you. Call 715-203-1508 to schedule your neuropathy severity consultation or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Every living creature on Earth needs Mother Nature's water for survival. From the family pet, whether it's the dog, our fish in a fish tank, to the precious little munchkins running around, for seven decades, Maher Water Corporation has been supplying and treating this water for the entire family with products made here in Wisconsin by Water Care. So call us today for the cleanest, safest water around. Step one, build a new breed, make it an SUV. Send it off-road, send it to Baja. Then evolve, enhance, expand, make it capable, smart, human. And then make more. Because the only way to predict the future is to build it. And the only way to build it is Ford Proud. Now get an adventure-ready 2021 Explorer for just $3.99 a month. Only at your local Ford dealer. Well, Monday is about over. A bit gloomy at times throughout the day today. It was our eighth day in a row with measurable rainfall in Rhinelander. And we're not done yet. Tomorrow, more showers. Also on Wednesday, that could mix with some snow showers tomorrow and Wednesday as well. Highs today, 51 in Rhinelander, 50 uh, even in Tomahawk, 49 for Phillips. So it's comfortable. And this is about where we're supposed to be for this time of the year. But tomorrow, it's going to be cooler as we have some colder air flooding in right now. Current temperatures 41 in Rylander, 43 in Leona, and this is about what the highs are going to be tomorrow. So that's going to feel different than today with some wind and some rain showers and maybe a few snow flurries in the air tomorrow as well. Here's that trend 42 tomorrow, two of them for Wednesday as well, 48 for Thursday, and then right back in the 50s again through the weekend and beyond. So a couple of cool days ahead, followed by a nice warming trend. Again, the average high being 52 ish. Uh, we should do that again by Friday, Saturday or Sunday, but for now we're just kind of hanging out in the rain showers today, tomorrow, into Wednesday as well, and it will mix with some snow beginning tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, but we're above average now in precipitation for the year so far. We're at 6.98 inches in Rylander through about noon today. Uh, the average is 4.47, uh, 5.3 for Wausau, average 4.5. So we're above average now in rainfall again, just like last spring. Remember last year today we got 9.1 inches of snow. That's not going to happen for us anytime soon, but still, uh, the fire danger is now way down versus a week ago when it was way up. Looking outside now, you can see lots of rain showers across the state, too. The big low, though, there's actually a couple of them across the Midwest and Great Lakes. Uh, you can see in a very elongated area of low pressure, basically from really the southeast over here, over to parts of Minnesota. This will travel very slowly like this next couple of days, uh, and then on that track, bring us some more rain and snow showers tomorrow as the colder air floods in. Future cast shows us nicely. Here's the low, kind of track it in just like this. It's going to move very slowly across our area into Wednesday and Thursday uh, before we get some sunshine back in the forecast for us Thursday night or Thursday into Friday. And the snowfall reports uh, look like this. So this is going to run through Wednesday and the models want to give us, you know, a quarter inch or a half inch of snow. That's fine, but it's going to basically be on grassy areas. Uh, this will not accumulate on the road ways at all. The ground temperatures are just way too warm now. Our forecast for tonight, though, is a couple of rain and snow showers out there. Low temperatures down near freezing with that southwest breeze around 5 to 10. For tomorrow, it's Tuesday. Scattered rain and snow showers again. Many dry hours in there as well. You're going to feel this. A high temperature near 42 tomorrow with a west wind around 10. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwood Furniture and Metros keeps us wet tomorrow and Wednesday, followed by a nice dry trend through the weekend with highs back in the 50s. Justin. 
Thanks, Jeff. When it comes to viewer voicemails, we've learned to take the good with the bad. Balance is important. See what we mean in tonight's Your Two Cents. To listen to your messages, press L. I think Up North is just the most remarkable show. If I miss it, I feel really awful. I think uh, since Adriana left, I thought uh, it was going to fall apart. But Dan is so, so good. And Jeff Weller is the most remarkable uh, meteorologist. I hope he buys a home and stays with uh, your channel forever. Could you please have Jeff see a tailor? His shirt sleeves and his jacket sleeves are way too long. My two cents. We're getting into the storm summer and power outages. You guys always use uh, Wisconsin Public Service. But yet our area is all governed by the energies. Can't you uh, split the load and give us updates on our area? There's a lot of people watch you from this area. Thank you. If you want to make your voice heard on your two cents, give us a call at 715-365-8812, extension 319. I'll respond to some of your calls on my two cents Friday on Newswatch 12 at 5 and 10. The Brewers' bats have been hot lately. We'll see if they could keep it going tonight against the Cubs after the break. But first, here's tonight's Job Watch. Job Watch is brought to you by Ripco Credit Union. student, our bus drivers are an integral part of the communities they serve. They are committed to safety and have genuine caring attitudes for children. Join our team of drivers with pay starting at $17.25 an hour, paid CDL training, and a sign-on bonus. Apply today at firstgroupcareers.com. Play your way. Dine your way. Stay your way. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Win your way. At Papa Murphy's, we believe Tuesdays should be taken seriously. That's why we need seriously. We chop seriously. And shred seriously. And it's why every Tuesday, you can get a large made-to-order pizza for just $10. Seriously. Because we're serious about Tuesdays. Even if you're not. Every Tuesday, get a large pizza for just $10. Papa Murphy's. Change the way you pizza. Hey, Antonio. What you working on? What you think of my new proposal on coverage? Well, you put big red X's through Chicago, Detroit, and Minnesota. Yep. Nope. With Cellcom, you get great coverage up north or in enemy territory, and we're always working to make it better. Cellcom, clarity in a cloudy world. It's Cellcom Spring Sale, April 1st through the 15th. Get a smartphone for just $3 per month. Plus, get a $100 sign-on bonus for any new smartphone line. Visit cellcom.com slash spring for details. At First Student, our bus drivers are an integral part of the communities they serve. They are committed to safety and have genuine caring attitudes for children. Join our team of drivers with pay starting at $17.25 an hour, paid CDL training, and a sign-on bonus. Apply today at firstgroupcareers.com. Coming up on your Tuesday, we'll be joined by Nurse Christina Paris on this week's Nursing the North. And the rain continues to fall up here with a little bit of patchy fog at times and some snow mixing in. More when you tune in on your Tuesday edition of the show. Sports Watch 12 with Griffin Stroin starts now. To start the season, the Brewers have had already to face a lot of opponents within the Central Division. They went to Wrigley and beat the Cubs. Over the weekend, they were in St. Louis and beat the Cardinals. Today, they were back in Milwaukee taking on the Cubs yet again. Chris Bryan has had some success against the Brewers, and it continued today. Top of the fourth, nobody on. Bryan going to hit a solo shot here to left center field. His third home run of the season, 
giving the Cubs an early 1-0 lead. But Milwaukee's bats would get hot in the sixth. Bases are loaded. Luis Urias is going to hit one down the left field line. It's going all the way to the corner, and that's trouble for Chicago. A bases clearing double for Urias, but the Brewers weren't done there. Later, it's going to be Jackie Bradley Jr. Pokes one right up the middle. Obviously, El Garcia is going to come and score from second base. Brewers are going to win this one 6-3, the final. Now, politics have been a part of sports for years now. I know a lot of people would prefer that they aren't, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. We saw it with the Bucks last postseason when they sat out a playoff game in protest of the death of Jacob Blake. Today, multiple teams decided not to play in Minnesota. Three professional sports teams in Minnesota, the Timberwolves, the Wild, and the Twins, postponed their games today after the death of Dante Wright. Wright was shot and killed by a police officer in Minneapolis suburb of Brooklyn Center. The teams reached out to local and state officials to reach the ultimate decision to cancel the games for tonight. Now, this could affect the Bucks in the near future. Milwaukee is scheduled to play in Minneapolis this Wednesday. As of right now, the game will be played, but we will keep you up to date if anything changes. High school spring sports still have a full week until they can finally start practicing for their upcoming season. But college spring sports have started, and the UW Stevens Point baseball and softball teams are off to a good start. On the baseball side, the Pointers are feeling it at home. Overall, they are 12 and 3 on the year, and they are an impressive 11 and 0 at Zimmerman Field. For softball, UW, UWSP is 14 and 7. Maddie Greenaberry is leading the team so far in RBIs with 13. Both teams will be in action on Wednesday this week at home. If you can't make it to Stevens Point to watch the game in person, you can watch live on their YouTube page. Now, I've been working here in the Northwoods for about 10 months, and when it comes to the people here, I've gathered a few things. One, lots of people here love the outdoors, from hunting, fishing, hiking, kayaking, I mean, the list goes on and on. Two, the bowling scene here is fantastic. One of my first stories I covered was the closing of Hodag Lanes. The community was devastated, which led to its reopening as Nick's Hodag Lanes, which is why when I saw this highlight last night, I knew I had to show it. Come on, kid, do it. Oh, he did it! He did it! He, did it. he, did it. he got the 710, Randy! Oh, he did God. it! <laughs> my goodness, the ginger assassin just dropped the 710! You bet, kid! You bet! <laughs> I mean, come on, that was electric. I love how excited the announcers got, and with good reason. It was only the fourth time in PBA history that a 7-10 split was successfully done on TV. Justin, I mean, come on, man. The level of excitement there, I mean, it's amazing. I get giddy if I bowl over 100. A 7-10 split, I'd lose my mind. He did it on air, too. Good timing. Thanks. Tensions remain high in Minneapolis tonight. In addition to the Derek Chauvin trial, there was another deadly incident involving a police officer there today. We'll have details after the break. Rivco Credit Union, since 1932. In the best of times and in times that require just a little more flexibility and kindness. We've been here. We'll be here. We are here for you. Federally insured by NCUA. At Lens Truck, we've made the buying experience fast and easy. All our trucks are guaranteed clean certified, can be bought hassle-free online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. And when you buy a Lens Truck, know that you're buying the best used truck money can buy. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all priced to move. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. Isn't it great how swinging through Culver's drive through marks the unofficial start to family time? How biting into a hot off the grill butter burger makes worries melt away. And how a fresh frozen custard concrete mixer puts a smile on your face every time. Here, a meal you didn't have to make is a meal made fresh for you. And being greeted with a smile, even beneath a mask, makes all the difference. There's a reason we put so much care into our food. That reason is you. Welcome to delicious. Olson Solar Energy wants you to know that there's a lot to consider when you think about solar energy. Consider a lower or no energy bill. There's a federal tax credit as well as other rebates and incentives to consider. You may not have considered that a solar energy system increases property value without increasing property taxes and works for homes and businesses. Isn't it time to consider a free evaluation? 
Call 579-0474 or go to olsonsolarenergy.com. You know water has come into your basement. At ABT, we'll come right over and conduct a free inspection. We share with you how the water is getting in, why it's getting in, and how to fix the problem. And if you need our help, we'll offer you a free estimate. Know that our work has long-term warranties. Visit callabt.com. Know that we'll even delay payments and hold off all interest until next year. It's our way of saying thanks. Go to callabt.com. Ripco Credit Union, since 1932. In the best of times and in times that require just a little more flexibility and kindness. We've been here. We'll be here. We are here for you. Federally insured by NCUA. Tee off with WJFWDeals.com. Just log on to WJFWDeals.com beginning this Friday to score a great deal at this fine golf course. Club Ecstasy Golf Course, located in scenic Gleason, features an executive nine-hole par 33 fully irrigated golf course. Challenge yourself through the woods, water, and sand. Great for testing your abilities and still fun for beginners. Cart and club rentals available. Get yours before they're gone. Only at WJFWDeals.com. Tension and crowds building tonight near Minneapolis after a young black man was shot and killed by police just about 10 miles from where George Floyd, Floyd died last summer. And this is all coming as the Derek Chauvin murder trial begins week three of testimony today. Jay Gray has the latest from Minneapolis. Barricades and officers surround the Brooklyn Center Police Department. <laughs> a day after anger and violence spilled into the streets of the Minneapolis suburb. Hundreds responding to the fatal shooting of 20-year-old Dante Wright by a police officer. Today, the city releasing body cam video from the incident. A warning, these images may be disturbing. Investigators say the video shows Wright trying to get away during a traffic stop. <laughs> The police chief telling the community his officer made a deadly mistake. It is my belief that the officer had the intention to deploy their taser, but instead shot Mr. Wright with a single bullet. Wright was killed about 10 miles from the intersection where George Floyd died. The tension surrounding the new incident framing what was a pivotal day in the courtroom to begin week three of the Derek Chauvin murder trial. Me and, me and George, we grew up together. With pictures from his life entered as evidence, Floyd's brother shares memories and the pain of his family's loss. As my mother, she's no longer with us right now, but that's, that's my oldest brother, George. I miss both of them. The emotional testimony, part of what's expected to be the closing day for prosecutors, that includes a cardiologist. I believe that Mr. George Floyd's death was absolutely preventable. And an expert on use of force. The high-profile case now set to take a dramatic shift, with the defense getting their turn with the jury. Yeah, well, look what I did this weekend, huh? Your weekends brought to you by American Marine and Motorsports in Shawano. We have more Alumacraft boats in stock than anywhere else in Wisconsin. Check them out in the largest showroom in the USA. Buy or trade into a new boat and get out on the water today. And we'll give you the best deal, guaranteed by at least 500 bucks. Get the most out of your weekends with Alumacraft and American Marine and Motorsports Shawano. Stone Innovations. Home of Wisconsin's largest granite and quartz selection is now featuring the best stone shopping experience in the state. Our brand new indoor facility allows for a home-like comfortable atmosphere. Choose from hand-picked stone from around the world and select the perfect look for your dream kitchen in the best lighting possible. Then sit down with our free design services to customize the look of your kitchen. Our projects come with a lifetime warranty. Stone Innovations, Wisconsin's granite and quartz leader. Appleton, Rhinelander, Clover, Madison. Saturday, April 24th, the Wisconsin Department of Justice will be holding a free prescription drug take-back event. If you have unused or unwanted medications, ointments, patches, non-aerosol sprays, inhalers, vials, or pet medication, clean out your medicine cabinets. Don't let your old medication fall into the wrong hands by disposing of unused or unwanted medications properly. For more information on locations and accepted items, go to doseofrealitywi.gov. 
This information is brought to you by the Human Service Center of Forest, Vilas, and Oneida County. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Sher, DC with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair, so don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, it can truly change your life. Start living your life pain-free. Call today. Hi, I'm Maria Seafeld with Miracle Ear of Marshfield. If you're struggling hearing your favorite news or TV shows, please stop in and see me for a free hearing test. The scattered rain showers out there now will mix with a few snow showers tonight throughout the day tomorrow and also on Wednesday, a very slow moving system across the area. Now we'll keep things wet around here for the ninth and 10th day in a row into Wednesday, probably into Thursday morning as well. But check out the seven day, it gets better to that. The weekend looks fantastic with high temperatures back in the 50s. We're due for a dry stretch, we'll get we there. We are. Thanks Jeff, thank you for joining us on Newswatch 12 at 10. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon is next. Have a great night.